Well, I'm outside my house today and I'm picking up sticks. Here's one of the sticks that I'm picking up. There's all kinds of dead sticks in my yard. And this is a spring job that I have to do. Uh, when I get done picking up sticks, I put them in this little stove back here and I burn them up. Now, when I look at a stick like this, it makes me a little sad because at one time this stick was alive. This stick was green, it was producing uh, leaves, it was producing uh, whatever fruit this stick does, and um, it was doing well, it was producing. And, uh, but now it's just a dead stick. You see, what happened to this dead stick is that it got disattached to the tree, to the plant. And when you get disattached to the plant, um, you end up dying and you don't produce any fruit. Jesus told a story like this in the book of John. And he, taught, he used a grape plant, but it's the same idea. Jesus doesn't want us to be dead sticks. He wants us to be alive and growing in him. He wants us to be producing good fruit. He wants us to be doing uh, acts of kindness to people and uh, doing good things for the kingdom of God. Um, but we, but we, sometimes we end up as dead sticks and he doesn't want that for us. Uh, if we want to be more than a dead stick, we have to be attached to God. We need to be, uh, we need to remain in what he called the vine or uh, we're branches in the vine. And uh, we do that by praying and by um, reading our Bible and by doing spiritual disciplines and, um, and by maintaining a close relationship to Jesus. And if we do that, we'll produce fruit. If we don't do that, all we'll be is dead sticks. So I want to ask you during the pause, are you connected to Jesus? And are you producing fruit? And you're not going to want to be a dead stick.